the, the second point uh, is how do we create a social movement around this change? And I, I use the concept of uh, the grand coalition of the commons. It's based on my analysis of what is wrong with today's society. And basically it's the following. Our society is based on pseudo-abundance, false abundance. We think nature is infinite. And we have a system which eats up the earth resources and the biosphere and basically is endangering life on earth. So we have to recognize, we have need an economic system which recognizes this natural scarcity, this limitation of the planet. Okay, the other problem is what I call artificial scarcity or pseudo-scarcity. And the idea here is that we have a system of property rights, intellectual property rights. Uh, copyright, patents, trademarks, uh, different things, which basically say you cannot cooperate unless you pay us or you ask for permission. And so innovations are often locked down, privatized and kept in check. And this is a real problem, especially in an era of climate change where we actually need very fast innovation. Now, you cannot mobilize communities, open communities, open designs and open code, free software, if you don't have a form of sharing where people can say, yes, if I contribute, somebody else will not take it away and privatize it, right? So it's very related, again, to... to so, okay, the, if this analysis is correct, we have two, two forces that already can form part of this, what I call the coalition of the commons. One is all those forces on the planet which want to change the economy into a sustainable economy. Sustainability movement, environmental movement, etc. Uh, includes green business, etc. And then we have all the forces that want a free culture, open science, open access publishing, free software movements, and all of that, right? So we have a free culture movement, we have a sustainable economy movement. Now, now let's imagine that we find a solution to this crisis of society, but that doesn't involve social justice. So my idea is that won't work, because then you have too much social conflict and social tension, right? So, so we need a solution that actually combines those three, so it's like a tripod. And so we also need social justice movements involved in this change. So what I call the Grand Coalition of the Commons is the building of a new social movement that is centered around the commons and civil society, that develops commons-oriented policy frameworks uh, to protect the earth, to free culture and to achieve social justice, uh, a more fair distribution of the planet's resources to, to humanity. Okay, that was the second point.